We're glad you're here. I'm glad that you're here to celebrate this very important occasion for your child and for your family. It's an honor to be nominated as a terrific kid, and, and I hope that you and, and them, I hope you guys see it that way. I'd like to introduce to you Miss Mary Ann Kyle. She will talk to us a little bit about Kiwanis. Thank you so much for having us out here today. Doing terrific kids around our county is so exciting for us because this is what Kiwanis is all about. We're a global organization, which means we have clubs all around the world. Our main focus is on young children all the way through the college age, believe it or not. We begin in uh, the elementary school with our terrific kids program. And then we move up to the middle school with what we call a builder's club where they learn to become good citizens and how to conduct meetings and get things done. We, they move into the key club at the high school where they further that knowledge. And we're very proud to say that the key club in Keystone is one of the top clubs in the state of Florida. And that's not a little thing to do. They're, they're a very active club. After you leave the high school and go into the college level, we have something called Circle K at the colleges where they continue to go. And then they can join in a regular club after they graduate from college. We are looking for those students who come to school every day. They work to the very best of their ability. They're good listeners. They're kind and respectful all around good citizens. So without any delay, let's find out who they are. I would like to mention, parents, that if you're interested in a video of today's pro program, that's available to you on Putnam School's website under the YouTube tab where you can pull up Terrific Kids if you'd like to have a, a video of today's uh, program. And there'll be a group shot at the end, yes. So kindergarten, we'll start with kindergarten. Come on up to the flag for all of our kindergarten. Kindergarten, come stand by the flag. Our first terrific kid is from Miss Caridi's class. I have selected Lauren Williams as my terrific kid. Lauren comes to school each day with a big smile on her face. She's excited to learn new things and always tries her best. She helps others when they need it. She is friendly and never leaves anyone out. Lauren sets a great example for the other students in our class. Keep up the great work, Lauren. I am so proud of you. Love, Ms. Caridi. Also, just to mention, our terrific kid nominees will be getting a t-shirt, and then our character trait kids of the month will be getting their folders with some other special things inside. Our next terrific kid in kindergarten is from Miss Cromwell's class. This terrific kid is Jan Lynn. Jan is the terrific kid for this month. He was chosen because he shows the qualities of a model student. Jan comes in every day ready to learn. He completes his classwork and returns his homework. Jan gets excited about math in a quiet sort of way, but it is always, but he's always willing to try new things. He is a math whiz. He is also respectful, responsible, caring, and has a sense of humor. He smiles and laughs at a good joke. Jan gets along well with his classmates. It is a pleasure to have him in class. Thank you, Jan, for being such a terrific kid, Miss Cromwell. Next, we have Branton Lyons. Branton comes to school with a smiling face and ready to learn. He amazes his classmates and teacher with his ability to figure out new words when reading. He often will know how to do a set of math problems before the assignment is even started. His teacher has heard him on various math, heard him on various math assignments, connect to, it to a situation in everyday life. How awesome is that? Branton completes his daily assignments with perfection, as well as his homework assignments. Recently, he was awarded with the student that achieved the highest scores in math on the latest iReady testing assessment. 
with the kindergarten grade level. Way to go, Branton. Thank you, Branton and family, for being our terrific kids. Now we celebrate here at Aquila, we celebrate the character traits and our school-wide expectations. This month, the expectation has been fairness. And I would like to welcome Araya Cortez. <laughs> Araya was chosen for the character pillar, fairness, because she exhibits many traits of that pillar. Araya shows kindness and treats her classmates equally. When she is working in centers, she doesn't mind helping her center mates. She says thank you and is quick to expect and give apologies. Araya's willingness to treat others fairly will help her be successful in anything that she chooses. Congratulations, Araya, on exhibiting fairness throughout the school day. Your kindergarten teachers. Now, first grade, if you'll Join us at the front here. First grade students, come line up at the front. This is really such an honor for me because I've had the opportunity to really get to know the kindergarten and first grade kids more so really than the other kids. And so I'm, I'm not the least bit surprised to see these children that are represented here. Terrific kid, Waylon White. Waylon is one of the most respectful kids I have had the pleasure of having in my class. Not just to me, but to everyone he encounters. Everyone loves him because he is also a very kind person. He will go out of his way to make sure that everything is fair for everyone. And he will be the first one to speak up if someone is being picked on. I am so proud of how well he is doing with his schoolwork. He definitely gives it his all. We love you, Waylon, and we're so glad that you're part of our class family. Miss Clark. Our next terrific kid is Madison Schaefer. Madison was chosen as Miss Keeley's terrific kid for the month of February. It's been my great joy to watch Madison grow and thrive as a student this year. She has gone from an unsure student to a student who confidently works her way through whatever assignment is given. Madison is a good friend to all her classmates. She is kind and caring to others, and she tries to set a good example for others to follow. Madison is a joy to teach. Madison, you truly are a terrific kid. Miss Keeley. Don't forget your t-shirt. Next, I would like to welcome Michaela Peva. Michaela was chosen as Miss Parrish's terrific kid for the month of February. Michaela always comes into class ready to learn with a smile on her face. When Michaela is given a job, she always sees it through. I know that whatever Michaela is asked to do, she will achieve the task and she'll see it through to her best. Michaela, you truly are a sweet and terrific kid. We love having you in our class, Miss Parrish. <clears throat> and my character trait person of the month, Emmanuel Cabrera. When trying to decide who would be our character kid of the month, Manny's name was said many times. So we looked in the dictionary under fairness, and we found that it means treating people in a way that does not favor some over others. After, the reading, after reading the definition, our class decided Manny was the best fit. Manny treats everyone with the utmost respect and care. No matter who you are, Manny is there to be a friend. Manny never lets anyone down. He is truly a friend to all. Manny, we are so happy that you're in our class. We love you so much, Ms. Parrish. Now, could I have second grade come, please, to the steps?
I would like to welcome Mr. Gavin Gressett to the stage. <laughs> Gavin is a student that every teacher would love to have in their class. He is a very polite and well-mannered child. He is kind to his classmates and always willing to help others. He's responsible and dependable. Gavin can always make people smile. These are just some of the reasons Gavin was selected for Terrific Kid. Congratulations, Gavin, Ms. Bowers. Next, I would like to welcome Sierra Morningstar. <laughs> Sierra was chosen by her classmates as Miss Newell's February Terrific Kid. As a new addition to our classroom community, Sierra quickly showed her classmates that she is a respectful, kind, and caring student. Each day, Sierra is always on task and takes great pride in her work. Her classmates also notice that she follows directions the first time and is always eager to participate in our classroom. For the first day she came, Sierra has always been willing to help her classmates whenever she could. Our class is happy that Sierra has joined us this year. Keep up the great work, Sierra. Love, Miss Newell. <laughs> Don't forget your t-shirt. And now my fairness uh, character trait kid of the month is Isaiah Tony. <laughs> Isaiah has shown great fairness in everything that he attempts. He treats others kindly and equally and shows the same amount of kindness to each one. He attends school regularly and is on time. He is a good helper in my classroom and quite the peacemaker. Congratulations, Isaiah. We'd like to have third graders now come join us at the stairs. First, our terrific kid without reservation, the Hutchinson Minions have chosen Soraya Sanchez Palacios as terrific kid Terrific Kid Minion for the month of February. She has been chosen for the following reasons. A smarty. Soraya is a hard worker in and out of the classroom. Academically, she's had some challenges, but her determination and perseverance never allows her to give up. She's a smarty. A great helper. She loves to help others be their best. She's recently taken on the job as a student mentor to our new student who only speaks Spanish. Her patience and kindness towards our new student is recognized by every student in Hutchinsonville. We are proud of her. A terrific behavior. Soraya is always on her best behavior. She is a student with all the qualities needed for success. Caring, responsible, trustworthy, and a minionship are all character traits that describe Soraya. You are my sweetheart. From your class and Miss Hutchinson. Get your t-shirt. From Miss Modal's third grade class, it is an honor to nominate Daisy Guadalupe as our terrific kid. Oops. Daisy provides a wonderful example for all of her classmates to follow. She is very helpful, kind, and compassionate to everyone. Her hard work, persistence, and attentiveness contribute to her high achievement. Her excitement about learning inspires everyone around her, which makes Daisy a wonderful addition to our class. She is a pleasure to teach and a joy to work with. Congratulations, Daisy. Our next person I'd like to welcome is Mr. Byron Mitchell. Byron has been selected as our class terrific kid because he has shown wonderful classroom behavior and is willing to help other classmates. Byron is an awesome young man who tries very hard to do all of his classwork and is eager to learn new things. We're very proud to have Byron in our class. He is a very loyal friend and leader. 
Byron is a shining example of what an outstanding Aquila Owl is all about. Way to go, Byron. Miss Jackson. Don't forget your t-shirt. T-shirt. And I would like to welcome, actually back to the stage, Miss Daisy Guadalupe. Come back, Daisy. The teachers, the third grade teachers have chosen to nominate Daisy as the Character Counts Terrific Kid. Daisy is always displaying the character trait of fairness, both inside and outside of the classroom. Thank you, Daisy, for playing by the rules, sharing, listening to others, and treating everyone fairly. Keep up the good work, and congratulations from the third grade team. Now I'd like to welcome my fourth graders to the stairs. Our first terrific kid recipient from fourth grade is Mr. Jonathan Chavez. Jonathan was chosen terrific kid for the month of February because of his excellent citizenship qualities. Jonathan is a model student who brings a calm, positive energy into the classroom each day. He is thoughtful, kind, and fair, and he shares these qualities with his classmates. Jonathan is a leader in our class who demonstrates his leadership by example. Jonathan is dependable and highly motivated. He is dedicated to his academic progress, turning in his homework and classwork with an awesome attitude, Jonathan meets the challenges of fourth grade by hard work, determination, and perseverance. He is an honor roll student with a work ethic that is exceptional for someone so young. He is a mentor and tutor whenever his classmates need him to help them figure out difficult academic problems. He encourages his classmates to be the best they can be and is willing to help them until they succeed. Jonathan is a terrific kid every day of the year, but on this day we can honor him. Our classroom heart overflows with joy and appreciation because you, Jonathan, are there in our class. We love you, Jonathan. You are the terrific kid, Miss Johnson. <laughs> Next, I would like to welcome Everett Joseph. When I think of a terrific kid, Everett Joseph is at the top of my list. Everett deserves to be my terrific kid because he is an exceptional student as well as an amazing person. Everett comes to school with a cheerful attitude and a smile on his face. Even on the worst days, I can count on him to find the bright side of any situation. He will do his best to keep everyone around him smiling and he always shows respect to his teachers. Everett may be the most caring, compassionate child I've ever met. He never meets a stranger. And when someone is left out in the classroom, he always partners up with them and makes them feel important. Making someone feel important comes natural to him. He always gives his classmates compliments and tells them what a good job they do, even when he isn't to told to. And this is what true character is all about. Everett has worked very hard this year to improve academically. He comes to class ready to learn and doesn't give up when he meets a challenging assignment. One of the things I absolutely love about him is that before coming to me for help, he always tries to find the answer on his own. He shows responsibility by turning in his classwork and homework on time with no excuses. Everett has the courage to do the right thing and he is a loyal friend, proving he has the character quality of trustworthiness. Congratulations, Everett, you've earned it. And now I would like to welcome Jordi Gomez. I am honored to nominate Jordi Gomez as our terrific kid for the month of February. Jordi has worked hard to become an excellent example of an Aquila owl. 
Jordy pays attention during class and participates in classroom discussion. He is a valuable member of our classroom. Jordy has worked hard to become more organized and responsible. He's also focused on making good decisions both academically and in his behavior. Jordy has a kind smile and an enthusiastic nature. He's both animated and thoughtful. It has been a pleasure watching Jordy mature into the awesome fourth grader that he worked so hard to be. Congratulations, Jordy, from Ms. Smith. Mm -hmm. I would like to welcome to the stage now Aiden McFadden. Aiden was chosen as our character trait student because of his outstanding citizenship qualities. One of those qualities is fairness. Aiden makes sure his classmates have their share of anything being offered before he takes his share. Whether in the classroom or on the playground, you can always count on Aiden to see that everything is fair. Aiden makes friends quickly due to his kindness, generosity, and fairness, and a positive energy that uplifts all who are around him. Aiden exhibits strength of character combined with a tenderness toward all his classmates. He is always willing to share his materials as well, as well as his time for any classmate who needs him. Aiden is a model student and a cheerful leader. He does not see obstacles, only possibilities. Aiden turns his classwork in each day and completes it, the classroom assignments with enthusiasm. He is a problem solver with a never give up attitude. Aiden possesses an awesome work ethic and meets the challenge of fourth grade with determination, perseverance, and fairness. We love you, Aiden. You deserve this honor. The fourth grade team. This is Megan LeBlanc, our terrific kid. Megan has been working extremely hard this year. She made an astounding 55 points of growth on her iReady reading diagnostic test. She comes to class prepared, readily follows directions, and always tries her hardest. When there's something she knows she needs to work on, she buckles down and gets busy trying to fix the problem. She is helpful and respectful to her teachers and her peers. Megan, keep up the good work. You're doing a great job, and we are all proud of you for all these reasons and so many more. You are one terrific kid. Prevented, presented by Ms. Thacker's class. Fifth graders, if you'll join me at the stairs, please. First, I would like to welcome Ms. Paula LeBron to the stage. Paula is an ideal student who sees the best in others. She is an example to her classmates because she is focused and determined. Paula listens and learns. She is patient and thoughtful. She tends to be a peacemaker. She motivates her classmates with encouraging words and optimism. She is always ready to help her classmates with projects and assignments. She is a great team player. Paula concentrates on doing well and being successful. She is serious about learning and she loves to have fun. We are grateful that she is part of our team. Way to be a super student and a terrific kid, Paula, from Miss Perry. I am very pleased to name Chad Kenyon. I just. I just love the mystery. Chad Kenyon is our terrific kid for the month of February in Mr. Stevens' class. Chad displays many qualities which make him a great candidate for terrific kid. Chad's classmates agree. Chad comes to class with a good attitude every day. Chad is one of the first students ready to start each morning. He's busy right away. Chad's a good friend in class. He's helpful and nice. These are statements that only scratch the surface of what Chad's classmates think of him because these are statements from his classmates. He is an outstanding classroom citizen and I'm proud to call him one of my students. Congratulations, Chad, you really are a terrific kid. Mm -hmm. 
And now, Mr. Jalen Ruth. Jalen is our terrific kid for the month of February. Jalen is working really hard on following directions and becoming a leader in the classroom and outside the classroom. He enjoys helping teachers and other students whenever anyone needs help. Jalen, continue to work on your leadership skills and on the follow and following directions. You have a bright future ahead of you. Don't forget to always follow your dreams. I am proud of you, Mr. Torres. Parents and guests and friends, that concludes our Terrific Kid program. Changes catch your eye And you come to realize One can make a difference Reach out, stand out Find out what it's all about See it all, stand tall Be there to catch them when they fall Life is bigger than just one Nothing changes quite as much as change And the things we rearrange Trying to make a difference Reach down, deep down Look at the sky of another town Listen well, the wind will tell you Something good is in the air oh. Life is bigger than just one oh, oh. But one can make a difference oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Just one, but one can make a difference. 